What's going on YouTube? It's NBA 2K Lab and we're back with another video for you guys. Recently, we've been receiving a lot of questions regarding intangibles and what role they really play for your My Player in 2K. Many people in the community have speculated that the attribute was put into the game by 2K as a way to better balance players' overall ratings. However, after a number of failed tests and theories, we believe we have found exactly what intangibles do and why it's a must-have for some high-level players, but why it might not be as important for others. Okay, so in order to try out our new theory, here's the setup for our test. We first lowered the quarter length of a game to one minute and set the game speed on 100. This allowed us to take as many clutch shots as possible in the last five seconds of any quarter and overtime. We ended up taking 200 shots with a player who had 99 intangibles and 200 shots with a player who had 25 intangibles. After these sets of shots, we found that the player with 99 intangibles made 30% more of his clutch shots compared to the player with 25 intangibles. This 30% increase in clutch makes shows just how important intangibles are when you're the player your squad is relying on to hit that clutch buzzer beater. We think intangibles are a must-have for competitive and high-level pro-am players and less of an essential for park players simply due to the fact that there are less chances to take advantage of this attribute in the park. Well that's it for now guys. Thanks for watching this video and please feel free to subscribe and share if you enjoyed it. As always, check out our website at nba2klab.com and follow us on Twitter at nba2klab for real-time test updates, get your questions answered, and suggest new tests for our upcoming videos.